everyone. So today I am going to be doing a tag because I am just feeling really tired and just really casual today. If you can't tell, I am in my favorite hoodie and I just decided to take a break from my 25 page essay. If you follow me on Twitter, then you know all about it. I'm writing an essay on solar energy and I'm on my 25th page. So I'm really excited because I'm on my last paragraph, but I figured I would take a break from writing to just kind of do this tag because I really wanted to get a video up for you guys. So yeah, this is the this or that tag. I haven't really looked through any of the questions. I just kind of copied and pasted this, um, but I'm guessing that I am supposed to be picking one thing over the other. And there are six different categories. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it. So the first category, of course, is makeup. So number one, blush or bronzer? Definitely blush because I would prefer to have a nice rosy flush across my cheeks as opposed to a bronzy golden complexion. I usually wear both blush and bronzer, but if I had to choose one, it would definitely be blush. Lip gloss or lipstick? Lip gloss just because the application is easier and you can get a nice glossy shine. And you can also find more opaque lip glosses so you would still get color and shine and with lipstick that would be a little harder to replicate. Eyeliner or mascara? Definitely mascara. Mascara is one of those things that I cannot live without. Even if I have no other makeup on my face, it's very rare for me to walk out of the house without mascara just because I feel like it makes such a huge difference and it really just opens up your eyes and makes them pop. Foundation or concealer? Um, I'm going to have to say say, ooh, this is a tough one, but foundation because I feel like my foundations that I like give really great coverage so I can kind of skip on the concealer and I don't really have bad under eye circles so I think I could live without concealer. Neutral or color eyeshadow? Well, this one's kind of a given. Definitely neutral eyeshadows. I am a very neutral, natural girl when it comes to makeup, so I mean I do like bright colors, but I feel like I can't really pull them off too well, so I'm definitely going to stick with my neutrals. Pressed or loose eyeshadows? Um, I'd have to say pressed. I don't really have too many loose eyeshadows just because they tend to be a bit messy and pressed eyeshadows are just a lot easier, in my opinion, to work with. Brushes or sponges? Well, I have both, but I have to say that I use brushes a bit more. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to pick brushes because I can't really see myself putting on eyeshadow with sponges or anything like that. But you can still put on foundation with different brushes, so I don't think sponges are completely necessary. Definitely brushes would be more important in my book at least. Okay, so moving on to the next category, nails. OPI or China Glaze? Definitely OPI. Overall, I mean, I do love certain China Glaze colors. I mean, the color I have on right now, Refreshment, is from China Glaze, and that is probably one of my all-time favorite colors. I love this minty green color, but overall as a brand, I'm going to have to pick OPI just because I like their brushes better and I like their formulation better. Long or short nails? Definitely short. I've never been one to have long nails. It's just really, really frustrating for me, and just kind of annoying to be honest. Um, I just don't like having long nails. I much prefer short nails. Acrylic or natural nails? Definitely natural. I think I've had acrylic nails probably twice in my entire life. I believe it was at the beginning of high school and one of my friends had talked me into them and I just kind of got sucked in and I hated them just because they are so much maintenance and every time you hit your nails on something it just hurts so badly. So I mean I really don't like to fuss over my nails. Painting my nails is probably a, as uh, I cannot talk today. Painting my nails is probably about as far as I will go. There we go. I finally got it out. Brights or darks? Um, well, I really like muddy colors, so I guess muddy colors kind of lean towards the darker end. I really like dirty, muddy browns, purples, grays, stuff like that. So I guess that would kind of be leaning towards the darker end of the color spectrum. Flower or no flower? I'm assuming this is in reference to those little flower decals and little designs that you can get on your nails. 
So I'm definitely going to say no flower. I just prefer plain painted nails, but that's just me. Okay, so next category, body. Perfume or body splash. I think overall I use body splashes or body sprays much, much more just because it's a much lighter fragrance and it's just not as heavy throughout the day. I don't really like to have this overwhelming scent, so I definitely lean towards body sprays, body splashes a little bit more. Lotion or body butter? Definitely lotion on a daily basis. Body butter is just a little bit too heavy and greasy for me. I may use a little bit in the winter time, but on a regular basis, it's definitely lotion. Body wash or soap? Now, I have said this before, but I am a very lazy girl, so I kind of like one product that can do it all in the shower. I don't like to fuss about when I'm in the shower. I just want to get in and out as fast as possible. So definitely body wash that is moisturizing, cleansing, and doubles as a shaving cream as well. Lush or other bath company? Um, I guess... I don't really have a preference because like I said, I am not a bath person, but I do shower. <laughs> Just because I don't take baths doesn't mean I don't shower. But um, I'm not really into all of the bath products and stuff like that. Um, but I guess if I had to choose, I guess I would say Lush because I do like their Honey, I Wash the Kids soap. Okay, so now moving on into the fashion section. So jeans or sweatpants. This is kind of hard because I love my jeans, but I am someone that is all about comfort, so I'm going to have to go with sweatpants because I just love my sweats. And usually when I'm filming a video, I am most likely wearing sweatpants. You just can't see it because you can only see this much of me, but today I'm actually wearing jeans, which is kind of a surprise. Long sleeve or short? Um, I do love hoodies and long sleeve shirts, but overall um, I'm going to have to say short sleeve just because they're a little bit more versatile and a little bit more comfortable, I guess I would say. It depends on the weather though, so it's all relative, but I'm just going to say short sleeve. Dresses or skirts? Dresses by far. I love, love, love dresses. Stripes or plaid, definitely stripes. Flip-flops or sandals, definitely flip-flops. I love flip-flops. I would live in them 24-7, 365 if the weather permitted it. But um, yeah, even if the weather doesn't permit it, I still wear flip-flops in the rain and all that. So I guess that doesn't really make a difference. Nothing can stop me from wearing flip-flops unless it's snow then that might be a little bit cold. Anyways, moving on, scarves or hats? Scarves, I love, love, love scarves. Those are probably one of my favorite accessories. Studs or dangly earrings? Um, neither, actually, because I don't know if you guys know this already, but I actually don't have pierced ears at all. I just never really wanted to get them pierced, and then in high school I was in swim, so it wasn't really a practical thing for me to do because my ears would just get infected because I had practice every single day. And then once I graduated from high school, I just thought, well, you know, I'm never really going to wear earrings anyway, so the holes are just going to close up and it's just going to be a waste of time and money. So I don't have pierced ears. Necklaces or bracelets? Ooh, this one's a hard one because I really love both, but I'm going to go with necklaces just because sometimes bracelets get in the way. Heels or flats? Definitely flats. I am very rarely in heels. I will almost throw a fit if I have to wear heels. You kind of have to force me into wearing heels because I just like to be comfortable and heels are not comfortable. So I will only wear heels if I absolutely have to, if it's an event or a dinner or whatever, and I am required to wear heels. Otherwise, you will always see me in flats. Cowboy boots or riding boots? Definitely riding boots. I think riding boots just have a really chic, unique look to them. Jacket or hoodie? Well, I'm wearing a hoodie today, so that kind of answers that question. I just love hoodies. I think they're snuggly and warm, and it's just really great to wear them when you have to study or you're just inside and you just want to feel cozy and comfortable. I love hoodies, and this is by far my favorite one. 
Forever 21 or Charlotte Russe? Forever 21. I don't really go into Charlotte Russe that much. Abercrombie or Hollister? Well, I think my hoodie answers another question on this list. Um, I actually used to work for both Abercrombie and Hollister. I started off with Hollister when I was 17 and then I moved to Abercrombie just because I like the Abercrombie clothes better. So I'm definitely definitely going to have to say Abercrombie even though they are the same company but they run as separate brands if that makes sense to you guys. But I still love Abercrombie even though I don't work there anymore. I still love the clothes and I love the hoodies and the jeans. They have awesome, awesome jeans and tank tops too, but I could just sit here going on and on all day about their clothes, so I'm just gonna move on here. Saks Fifth or Nordstrom? Um, I really don't go into Saks Fifth Avenue often, if ever, so I'm going to have to say Nordstrom. I really like Nordstrom. Okay, so now moving on into the hair section. So curly or straight? I'm gonna have to go with the middle ground on this one and pick wavy like I have my hair now just because this is the easiest hairstyle for me to maintain. I don't have to worry about it falling because if it falls a little bit it still looks okay. When you have curly hair you kind of have to worry about it getting frizzy and all of that and then when you have straight hair um, if your hair sits in a certain way for a certain amount of time you can get dense and it's just a pain so I prefer to have wavy hair. Bun or ponytail? Probably a, ooh, this is hard. I'm gonna pick ponytail though. Bobby pins or butterfly clips? Well, I haven't worn those butterfly clips since I was probably, oh gosh, in elementary school or middle school, so I'm definitely a bobby pin girl. Hairspray or gel? Overall hairspray. Long or short? Well for me, I'm going to say long because I made a huge mistake at the end of my senior year. For some reason I thought, I need change, I'm going to cut off my hair. And I had really long hair. I mean it was probably as long as it is now. And I just chopped it all off up to about here. Ooh, my voice kind of squeaked. But anyways, I cut up off my hair to about here and I had choppy layers and it was just awful 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 so i've been growing out my hair ever since and three years later well actually over three years now this is what i am left with so that was definitely a lesson that i learned the hard way side swept bangs or full bangs Ooh, i kind of prefer no bangs just because i can't stand it when my hair is in my face so i kind of like how my bangs are now because i can tuck them behind my ears um, I really like the look of full bangs, but they are just way too much maintenance. And I even think side sweat bangs are too much maintenance for me. I just like to tuck my hair behind my ears. I'm just lazy like that. Up or down? Um, I'm going to say down because I usually wear my hair down. The only times I wear it up is if my hair is in my face or if I'm working out or if I have a bad hair day but otherwise I will just wear my hair down and then last but not least moving on into the random section rain or shine okay I'm kind of strange because I like really cold rainy cloudy gloomy weather I don't know why maybe it's because I grew up in Southern California so I just got sick of all the sunshine I don't know what it is but I cannot stand heat so I really really love rain as long as I'm inside if I'm outside then that's a different story because I do not like to get soaked by any means so if I'm inside then I'm good to go summer or winter well like I said I hate hot weather so winter is by far my favorite season because it's much, much cooler. Fall or spring? Um, I am going to say spring just because it does get a little bit warmer towards the end of spring, but it's not unbearably warm. And I do like the sunshine and all the flowers and all of that. Although I do like fall as well, but I'm just gonna say spring. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. I am a major, 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 major chocolate freak. I love chocolate, so there is no way I could ever give up chocolate. And then last but not least, East, East Coast or West Coast? 
Okay, well, I'm a California girl, so I feel like I'm kind of obligated to say West Coast, but I do love both coasts, don't get me wrong, but I just think that the weather on the East Coast would be a little bit too extreme for me because it gets really, really hot and humid in the summer, and then it gets really cold in the winter, which I love but I don't think I could handle the summers because at least in California, we have dry heat. We really don't have too much humidity. So yeah, and uh, I, I grew up on the West Coast. So that's where my heart is. I'm gonna have to say West Coast. So that is the end of this video. It was really, really fun to do actually. And it was a nice little break for me. So now back into my essay I go, but luckily I only have one paragraph left. So I tag anybody who wants to do this tag. It's really, really fun. So I hope that you guys will do this and please post a video response if you do decide to do this video or tag or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I hope you all are having a very lovely day and I will see you later. Bye.